I know it's been a long time since you've seen me. But I think I needed to make a response video to Pollyanna, you hussy. Look her. I crack it on the camera for you. Just like Pollyanna's neck, you little bitch. Oh, look, I thorned it up just a little. I think I need to let it simmer for a little bit, maybe. Okay? But anyway, malt liquor, label out. And I forgot my union made snacks. I, they're in the other room. I might have to get them. I don't know. Cheers. Mmm. Delicious, just like I remember. I felt the absolute need to make a response video to Bruce Jenner, also known as Pollyanna. I understand your dilemma about drinking malt liquor and wanting to become a, a woman. Strange thing is that I drank malt liquor and all it did was make me hot for Trent and all those other little midget guys and stuff who drink the malt liquor and make videos wearing ski masks. <laughs> You understand what I'm, where I'm coming from, don't you? Malt liquor. Anyway, the reason that I want to make this this video is to warn you to stay away from my man Trent. He's mine, you know. It's like I went all the way to Vegas to get him, and then now you're trying to move in on my territory. It's just not right. I know that I have fuzz in my face, in my mouth from this fucking mask. But anyway, I know that since you were formerly a man, did you probably know how to please women? Probably I know how to please I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. It's got me so flustered. I need another drink of malt liquor to straighten my thinking out, I suppose. Mmm. But I suppose since you were a man at one time, <laughs> did you know what it takes to please a man? And I can understand that. I mean, after all, you know what you like, so I'm sure you know what he likes. But I just want to warn you that you better stay away from my trinty poo. I went to a lot of trouble to, to hunt him down and get him so I could have him to my very self. I went all the way to Vegas. I had to search through all those adult places and stuff and look at those other nasty women. But I did finally find him and we hooked up. Granted, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. It was, I was a, a, a little disappointed, I suppose. I think it's because he was shorter than I thought. But anyway, <laughs> I think you know what I mean. You've probably seen him naked too. <laughs> kind of tiny. But anyway. Malt liquor label somewhere. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've had had an old English. This is Save the Polar Bear 79. This is his favorite malt liquor. And this one's not bad, but I just can't get the dingy ringy and stuff because it's So anyway, that's all my local Walmart had. It's the only place I can find malt liquor. Imagine that. Besides, you know, like one of those convenience stores over in one of those neighborhoods. But anyway, malt liquor. Now back to where I was. Oh, I just wanted to warn you, Pollyanna, that little bitch, you better stay away from my man. If you want false death, you can have him because he's pretty intellectual and you seem like you're pretty intellectual too. So I think you two would be a match made in heaven. The twin, on the other hand, he's as bad as brain dead as I am. <laughs> I think that's why we headed off so well and stuff at the adult film convention. I was looking to get laid for about 10 minutes and actually, I guess I was overshooting my expectations. Was it all of about 30 seconds? But anyway, we have a, a kindred, a kindred bonding, I think it is, and stuff was just kindred souls. Malt liquor. I think part of
part of the problem with Trent and I's relationship, besides the fact that it was long distance, is that his webcam was just not the quality and stuff that I was looking for. You know, it's kind of hard to have that, that, mm, that internet sex thing going on back and forth, you know, the internet sex chatty thing, you know, when it's like 24 pixels. Looks like one of those mm, Japanese dirty movies, you know, stuff where they show stuff, but then the really good part, it's like everything's pixelated. I don't know why they do that. But anyway, you just stay away from my man. But he's like, you go to New York or wherever and stuff, and you just go get Mr. Falstaff guy and you can have him. Mott liquor. Oh, does anybody ever know what happened to um, that stupid New York guy? I can't remember even what his name was. Who was like a clone of Steel Worldwide and stuff. I think that he was he was wanting to make it big, but he just kind of faded from nowhere. <coughs> Malt liquor. Did you notice I did doll up? <laughs> what do you think? You think it's nice? <laughs> but anyway, I understand, Steph, that your name used to be Bruce Jenner, I believe. <laughs> Are you that same guy that, like, ran? That the Olympian guy that's, like, 70 years old? Are, are, are you the same Bruce Jenner? No, well, probably not. Old Laker. Notice I'm trying not to door foam the hell out of this. But I have a little bit right there. I apologize so much. But anyway, I just want to say that even though, you know, Trent and I's relationship started off, you know, it was kind of rocky and kind of short. Short. Anyway, I think we have something special going on. In one of these days I expect him to propose, but I told him first he had to move out of his mom and dad's house because I just can't live with his parents and stuff. That's just not right and stuff. If a man is going to support a woman such as myself and, you know, let me live the life that I'm used to, he needs to, to get out of mom and dad's basement and he just kind of refuses. I mean, he got, he's almost 40 years old and he's still living there. So I don't know, maybe I should have false death. At least Falstaff has his own apartment. You know what? Fuck Trent. You, you, you take Trent. I'm going to go after Falstaff. I think the guy has a real job and he gets to travel a lot, even if it's to third world countries where you don't dare drink the water or you'll get, you know, like, the shit's really bad. Which sometimes this stuff does that to me anyway. But anyway. So, you can have Trent. I cha I've changed my mind. I want a man who's got ambition, not some guy who's a stalker, you know, puts, puts stuff on the shelves at the store, at the local store, because I think that's probably what Trent does, because he's such a mystery man. I mean, he doesn't even want to really use his, his own real name, because he even wouldn't tell me what his real name was when we were, you know, doing the bump and grind kind of thing. So, like I said, I can understand his embarrassment perhaps and stuff because of living with mom and dad, you know, and he was afraid maybe I'd stalk him. <laughs> but you know, he really wasn't worth my time and effort. Maud Laker, this is my one true love. Although I think Falstaff could probably be a close second. We both have, we both have this in common. <laughs> yes, anyway. So you can have you can have Trent. I'm I'm going after false death. I I like I like the intellectual. At least one of us needs to be smart. <laughs> I have trouble tying my shoelaces. <laughs> Gosh, I I don't know if I can finish this. Hmm. I've got about half of it gone. But anyway, so. I'm probably just not going to make this a really long video, but I just want to tell you, Pollyanna, that at first I was furious that you were even thinking about going after Trent. But I've had a change of heart. You can have the little dwarf. 
but I don't know if the fifth, you know, if he if he hits it really big in that um, Game of Thrones show that he stars in, then then I might have to arm wrestle you for him later. But we'll just have to see. Label half malt liquor. <laughs> but I just want to give love and kisses to everyone out there who's watching my video. Pollyanna, let's bury the hatchet, honey, as if you can have him. I, I'm so over him. He's so yesterday. He's all yours. Fall step, darling. I'm giving after you. <laughs> I know you there. And I can watch you through your windows with my binoculars. So, anyway, you have a splendid day. Drink only malt liquor and eat only union made snacks. And just enjoy your time with the ones that you love. Bye bye.